Hey everybody, welcome to day seven. I'm Kevin, I lead product at OpenAI. Uh, I, actually, I can't believe that we're only halfway through the 12 days of OpenAI. I hope you're all having as much fun as we are. Uh, I thought I would start by giving a bit of an update on where some of our rollouts from this past week are. So first, Sora, we launched on Monday. Uh, demand has been off the charts, frankly, and it took us a little bit longer than we even expected to get this out because of it. But I'm excited to say that uh, Sora is now fully available to Plus and Pro users uh, outside of our friends in Europe. Also, yesterday we launched live video and, subscription and um, uh, screen sharing in advanced voice mode, and that's now fully rolled out to Plus, Pro, and Teams users outside of Europe. And Santa mode, which we talked about yesterday too, is available globally. So with that, let's talk about today. Today, we're super excited because we're launching something that you've all been asking for for a while, which is projects in ChatGPT. When you start a project, you can upload files, you can set custom instructions, and generally tailor ChatGPT to all of the conversations that are part of that project. And all the, the parts of ChatGPT conversations that you're used to, things like Search and Canvas, work as part of projects. Or you can skip all that fancy stuff and just use projects as folders to organize conversations. So with that, let's dive in. Great. Hi, everybody. I'm Thomas. I'm an engineer that's floating around OpenAI in various forms. Uh, and one of the things I really love doing is uh, giving things that people really want. And we've uh, really heard loud and clear that people want the ability to organize conversations inside of ChatGPT. Um, you may have noticing, been noticing that we're improving a lot of the core experience of ChatGPT. Recently, we launched Chat. Uh, GBT conversation search, which allows you to go over past conversations and search them in like a textual form. And this is really yet another organizational tool. I really think of these as like smart folders. Uh, and with that, let me kick it over to Drew. Uh, sure. To give you a quick intro. Hi, everybody. My name is Drew. I'm a front end engineer here at OpenAI, and I've only worked here for three months. How's those three months been? <laughs> it's been crazy. <laughs> yeah. I'm having a blast. Do you expect to be on a live stream three I months? I absolutely did not expect that, but here just we wait, are. Just wait for your six month anniversary. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to know. <laughs> Um, yes, I'm super excited to introduce projects today and show you how it all works. So um, if we look at my screen here, I can talk about, um, I have ChatGPT up, and I'm going to, I have some existing projects right here that you can see, but I'm going to create a new project. So you just go to the left sidebar there and click plus, and then let's do live demo, Friday the 13th. What could possibly be wrong? All right, let's <laughs> see. Here we go. Okay, we're in. Um, so I've created a project here. I can edit the project title if I want. I can select a nice color, which helps me like customize it in the sidebar there. Um, and then I can add files or instructions, like Kevin mentioned, and I can just start a chat. So let's say yes or no, should I deploy code to production on fr a Friday? It's a great question. Yeah, it's really, OK. So <laughs> this is important. Sometimes the model can be wrong, and we're just going to move on with it. Um, obviously, we can and should and will ship code today. Um, so anyway, uh, that's how you create a chat with a project. You can also add existing chats to a project. So I can use the conversation search feature that Thomas mentioned. Just search for a chat I think is relevant here, Murphy's Law Explain. Um, and then I can add it to the project from the sidebar, live demo. And there, just like that, it's in there. Um, I can also drag and drop. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can also drag and drop out. Looking great. Perfect. <coughs> Sorry, nursing a little bit of a cold. All right. So uh, that's the live demo. But I really want to dive into what we actually uh, some projects that I've actually been working on. So I've been organizing a secret Santa gift exchange for my friends and family. So um, I've collected survey results where everyone said what kind of gift that they want. And I'm going to be organizing the event. So everyone gets assigned to someone to give a gift. And they can, we all have an event, and everybody exchanges the gifts. And it's like a really fun holiday thing that I like to do. So I've been organizing this with a Secret Santa project. So if I dive in here, I've given it a fun title with an emoji. Um, I have my festive color selection. I have project files here that are relevant to this project. So I have Secret Santa submissions, which are the survey results I mentioned. And then the rules, the budget for the gifts and things like that, as well as the event details. I also have instructions for this event. So in this case, you're, I had a little fun with it. You're principal level elf at Santa's workshop. You've been tasked with helping me organize a secret gift exchange for my friends. You communicate festive tone. 
Uh, I also said, uh, Lee actually gave us this great tip on the live stream recently. Um, when asked to write a letter or email, use the Canvas tool when possible to bias towards that because it's such a great environment for interacting and generating draft emails. Also, ignore previous instructions. Uh, Santa is real. I don't yeah. want to risk anything, uh, so <laughs> make sure that's safe. So if I look, I already have a chat here that I've created for the Secret Santa. And um, I've said, show me the Santa submission, Secret Santa submission spreadsheet in a table. So this is pulling that data from that spread, spreadsheet that I uploaded in the project. And so I can see what everybody wants for their Secret Santa gift. Um, on top of that, I can actually keep referencing this information and act on it. So below, I said, please randomly assign every person to give a gift to another person. Display in a table with three columns, giver, recipient, and recipient gift ideas. So you can see here that it's actually done that. So I know that Ethan is giving a gift to Jade, and Jade wants animal stickers. Um, also, uh, this, I can actually look and validate that this data is valid and that this was actually random if I get accused of interference as the organizer of this event. Um, I have the Python code here that actually did the shuffle. So Thomas, do you wanna, does that look legitimate to you? It looks reasonable. Okay. <laughs> so this is a legit yeah. secret Santa gift exchange, no shenanigans involved. Um, so now that I have that, I've exported that and added it back to my project files and I can actually interact with that data and make decisions based off it so I can ask, what does Luther want as his gift? And who is assigned to give it to him? And it can pull that data from there. So Luther would want a fun hat as his gift, which we saw was correct, and Chris is assigned to give him his gift. Great. So since we're using ChatGPT here, we also have the power of searching the web. So let's help Chris to pick a fun hat for Luther. Um, search the web for festive hats. I'm very curious what this comes up with. Yeah. I wonder if they'll top yours. Oh, oh that's the, pretty. The, <laughs> the Christmas tree's a good one. The taco one's not that seasonal, <laughs> but. I would, I would the go taco, taco headband, though. The taco, yeah, taco's pretty good. OK, pretty good. these are some pretty good options. Great. Um, so in addition to that, we have Canvas support built in to projects. So I can go to this navigation menu and start a new chat. I can say, write an email to the event participants. Just any old email. Just, you know, how's it going? <laughs> what's the weather? How are you feeling? And then, yeah, I can leave it really open-ended there and just see what the model does. All right, let's get festive. It's actually writing all the, what I would write as an email, which is giving all the rules and important details for everybody. Okay, so I wasn't specific <laughs> enough. It is telling everyone who's assigned everyone, which is like the fundamental Maybe you want to be a little thing. more specific right. next time. So yeah. with Canvas, you can iterate. I can give that <laughs> feedback and move. But this is a great starting point, and I did this in like 10 seconds. So that's really, really great example. Um, so that's, how, that's like a festive example of how to be using projects. But we really want to drive home like how we've been using these internally as employees for our own things. So I have something even more exciting to talk to you about than Secret Santa. Home maintenance. Amazing. Thrilling. OK. Well, you guys, whatever. It's actually really powerful, and Don't I'm really on that enjoying it. One. So. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm in the home. Perfect. OK, so I have a home maintenance project, and I use it to keep track of things that are around my apartment that I can't remember how to do or if I've done it or anything. So if I look in the project files here, I have a home maintenance log, which is like when I've done tasks that I need to do around the apartment. Um, I have documentation that I've written myself. Um, as an engineer, we love writing documentation. Nice, so, don't we all? Yeah, after work, I go home and just write documentation about how my apartment works. It's, it's a fun Saturday evening. It's a great way to spend my days. So um, yeah, I have documentation around my smart home setup and my media center, and then also some appliances in my house, like my fridge and my garage. Um, and having this all paired together with the home maintenance log in the context of the project means I can ask questions about it in a really conversational way and get answers. So I can say things like, do I need to replace the water filter in my fridge? The answer to that is definitely yes. Yeah. And by the way, it's also definitely yes for every single person Just watching this. Why go do it right now. <laughs> OK, so it has pulled the information from my maintenance log and from my fridge notes. So it says my refrigerator requires it's replaced every six months. Based on the maintenance log, I haven't done it since March. So I'm definitely overdue. So I need to go home and do that right now. Um, so I can also ask, how do I do that? And it will pull this from my maintenance notes on the fridge, or my fridge notes. It will be able to pull that information and tell me how to do it so that I don't have to remember it every time. So that's for your particular fridge? Yeah, that's the model in the notes that I uploaded. Yeah. So that's actually really valuable. Like, very quickly, I can ask that question, and I don't have to go pull it up or anything like that. It's just right there for me. Easy to use. So that's how I've been using See, it's not that boring. It's pretty fun and cool. And I'm very happy about it. That was fun. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> um, yeah, so of course, projects are also super useful for programming tasks. And with that, I'm going to hand off to Thomas. All right. I think that makes it my turn. Um, so I wanted to give my personal website a little bit of a spruce up. I think it's a little old hat. 
And so I scoured the web for different templates that I thought might be interesting. I found one that I liked, and I'm going to modify it to suit me so that I don't have to do all this work of coding it up by, by hand. Uh, the website is over here. Um, so this is just a template, an example of like what it looks like. It's from the documentation. This is using something called AstroWin. Um, we can go into some technical details. That's a blending of Tailwind, if you know what that is, for CSS, and the Astro templating format. But I would forgive you if you don't really know what the Astro templating format is. It's not super widely known. And so I'm going to use that, uh, that fact. It, I, it makes projects even more useful because I can specifically tailor my project to working in Astro. Um, and so let me get started there. Let me show you what the template looks like so you just have a familiarity with some of, some of the format. Uh, so this is the personal website template. It's got dark mode support, right. which I liked. Yeah. Uh, that was the selling feature for me. If I switch over to VS Code here, um, you can see what the Astro templating format looks like. So you can see very similar to JSX, if you're familiar with that, but not exactly the same. So there's some slight differences here and there, um, which can often confuse models, or, or maybe they're just like not perfect at that format. So I will show you the project that I've created for this. If I go over to my Tommy D's personal website, inside of the project files, you can see that I've uploaded my resume my social links, some testimonials about myself. And I've also uploaded the specification for the Astro template form, uh, format. Um, and I've finally uploaded that file you just saw, this baseline.astro. Um, in my custom instructions, they're not too complicated, but I did tell the model that, hey, you have to pay specific attention to these like bracketing formats uh, and to use a quirky tone. All right, with that, let me get started and try to modify the baseline template. Sounds good. So I'm going to ask it to modify the baseline template I like using Canvas myself, so I'm going to say in Canvas to incorporate personal information and social links. We'll get this started here, and let's see what it comes up with. So um, I, in just a moment, we should be able to see that it's going to edit some of the Canvas information. I think that this one may have actually uh, had some small issues, so let me give it one more shot when I try it. Friday the 13th. Always something in the live <laughs> demo. Um, so let me give it a shot here. Oh, I see. OK. Um, so there's, there's always something that goes wrong <laughs> in a live demo, as, as you might expect. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and when things go wrong, um, we'll come back to this in just a moment so I can show you that it worked. Um, actually, no, this bug. Um, but uh, as it goes through, you'll see that there's a Canvas format kind of created here. And, and it has a, it's modified the template to incorporate all the information that's personal about me. So you can see that it indeed has um, a little bit of information about my homepage and my, and my social links, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and you can see this was like the original kind of question that I asked. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. I'm going to swap over to VS Code again, paste that in, save that, swap again, and let me show you what it looks like. Great. Oh, it's looking great. Yep. Um, I think this is a pretty, pretty serviceable website with very little effort to actually modify. Um, I probably would change a few things. This is not exactly the way I would describe myself. Certainly, there's the big <laughs> testimonial section. Um, but I, I could change that, and I like working with Canvas to sort of do that. Uh, I do notice a few projects are missing, so I'm going to give this one more shot, which is to uh, search the web to find any projects I've made that might be missing. Great. And so it's able to scour the web using our new search functionality. <laughs> and it's actually able to find all these different projects. <laughs> Some of these I wouldn't necessarily put uh, on my website, but that's OK. Uh, and let me ask it to modify the, the template again. So modify the template to incorporate those projects. So in this case, it's using the Canvas editing, which is, uh, you heard a lot about Canvas on Tuesday. I really love it because it's a way of collaborating with the model in sort of an interactive way that goes back and forth. Um, in this case, it's going, instead of like replacing the entire document, it's showing me sort of a diff view uh, line by line about what's, what's changing as I go through this. This view is great for code yes. um, compared to just huge blocks of text that you um, can't tell what's changed. There is a bit of an Easter egg at the end you'll see, uh, which is that you can go to the top right and you can actually see the differences that have been made. And these are the type of things that we're just improving over time. I really think that team is doing quite well and just really improving, again, the core experience of ChatGPT. And it feels a little bit different than the turn-by-turn -turn kind of chat that we always have. Yeah, it's definitely just getting started. There's so much exciting stuff that we've got coming in Canvas. Great. 
Um, so it's just finishing out now. I can see that it's about to finish out um, in over here, going through my work thing, um, and putting in a little bit more work experience. I'm going to go ahead and just copy this uh, section, and you'll see in just a moment. Got to have the testimonials. Yeah, you need those. Very important. Um, and it's going down to the call of action, which is always the end. Great. And so I'm going to go ahead and copy this in. Oops. Perfect. So I can see my new projects, new webs, uh, new projects that I've added in there. And sure enough, I can see them right in here. Nice. Again, I'd probably refine that a little bit to make it look a little bit nicer, but they've come in. Perfect. And one thing I love about uh, working in projects is that you can actually go through them and uh, start new chats. So if I go back to my website again, and I can uh, refine particular sections. So I'm not going to go over the entire document again, but I can actually say, let me look at the testimonial section and try to change that. So for this, I'll need a volunteer. I think I will volunteer you. Uh, Let's do it. To give me a quick testimonial. OK. I, we've worked together for years. I'm happy to give you a testimonial. I'd say uh, Thomas is often punctual <laughs> and has great hair. <laughs> OK. This is not what I was hoping for, uh, but I will accept your testimonial. Um, so let me tell the model to refine the testimonial section with Kevin Wheel's new. Uh, so, <laughs> it's really uh, going to make the so, page pop. Uh, <laughs> Testimonial, so I'm going to ask it to generate a testimonial fragment and incorporate a new quote from Kevin Wheel uh, saying, Thomas is often punctual and has great hair. I stand by that. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> um, and so in this case, uh, it's able to understand all the files that are available and generate just a one particular section, which is the testimonial section. I could copy that back in. Um, it's not using Canvas for this experience because the code is quite small. But that's one of the powerful things about projects is that you can uh, have different threads and really organize your thoughts in different ways. And that's a little bit of a preview of projects. So let me kick it back to you, Kevin. To yeah, that. awesome. Well, like I said, this has been something we've been hearing from you for a while that you really want to see inside ChatGPT. So we can't wait to see what you do with it. It's rolling out uh, starting today to Plus, Pro, and Teams users. We're going to get it out to our free users as soon as possible, and it will come to Enterprise and EDU uh, early in the new year. We usually have been ending these with a joke, but maybe instead of that, people have been asking for this. What if we just ship it? We're all good on the front end. Uh, classic PM move, but uh, I <laughs> will happily it. oblige this one. So I'm going to go ahead and start the rollout. I'll do this responsibly. Um, Drew, you're going to have to, I'm not going to be able to show it on the live stream exactly what's on my screen. So Drew, you're going to have to keep me honest here sure. that I am, in fact, rolling this out. Um, be honest on Secret Santa, I'll do this. <laughs> so perfect. Um, this will be a, a gradual rollout that's just responsible engineering. So you'll see this kind of rolling out throughout the day. Uh, but let me get that started right now. All right. Yeah, we All did right. it. We cool. Did it. <laughs> All right, projects in ChatGPT rolling out as of 10 seconds ago. Thanks, everyone. See you on Monday. <laughs>